Well, good evening, and just a wrap up of the work session of the council meeting for the city of Grand Rapids. Uh, this evening it was very, very light council meeting and work session. On the work session, we did some final discussion work around the 2015 budget preparation. As you all know, in uh, December, we have to go into our truth and taxation meeting where we do a final levy uh, proclamation on what it will be expected to be. And I see that coming in at slightly less than what we had initially uh, had out there from a, from a levy standpoint. Uh, we did have uh, Barb Sanderson, Council Member Sanderson, talk about the housing study that was completed for the City of Grand Rapids. So if anyone's interested in listening to the results of that study, Wednesday night, 7 o'clock, Planet Foundation, you can go there and hear uh, the state of housing in Grand Rapids and what we're going to be looking at moving forward as we look at business development, business growth, and the needs currently out in the community from a housing standpoint. Consent agenda was very light. This this evening, in fact, a couple of them were quite, quite. Uh, I wouldn't say humorous, but we had some change orders. Normally, a change order involves that money is differing from what it was. The project cost either went up or it went down. And you got some money back and forth. But in this case, we had two projects: the Active Living Center at the Y, that the change order and the balancing change was actually zero. So that means that it came in right exactly where they had, they had said it uh, would be. And then the other one was the uh, Murphy Middle School improvements, the safe routes to schools. That project up by Murphy that connected between Murphy and the, and the middle school uh, once again came in just exactly where it needed to from a budget standpoint. We sold a vehicle under the consent uh, from a fire department to the sheriff's office, which is always nice from an interdepartmental and intergovernmental standpoint to be able to work with another agency on the purchase uh, of a vehicle that they know how it was and how it uh, handles and how it's been maintained. So hopefully that vehicle works out very well for the Sheriff's Department. Under the regular council meeting, Bob Cahill was in and gave a little discussion and talk on the golf course and the state of the golf course. We have uh, as a public owned uh, golf course, one of the beauties is that um, you can control your costs, but sometimes they're hard and they need a lot of financial support from the residents through the tax system. Pekagama Golf Course in Grand Rapids is self-sustaining in that they cover their own, their own costs with revenues that they bring in from green fees and cart fees and range fees. Uh, and that's been very, very good for the city. We've got an asset that brings people into the community, yet does not cost the residents from a tax standpoint in order to maintain that asset, so that's good. Uh, information technology, we're upgrading our laser fish at a cost of not to exceed $38,200. So as we move into that process, our IT department, it um, encompasses all departments. It gathers all of the information, puts it out there in electronic form. And if you're a city employee and you want to go and you want to pull some information up, you can punch in some keywords or some numbers or some areas and uh, the computers will talk or work between themselves, all that information will come back to you. So it saves, literally saves hundreds and hundreds of hours over the course of the year. It was one of the things that we had done several years back when we put in laser fish that was going to streamline and upgrade our capabilities when we went through, as you all recall, uh, two or three years back, we had had the 10% reduction in spending and in staffing on the city side. Technology was how we were able to do that. And because of that technology, we reduced 10%, uh, cut out over a million dollars of our city budget, and we've been able to hold that uh, cost reduction uh, uh, since that time. Laser Fish now needs some upgrading, so we're going to be upgrading that system. But as we upgrade it, we're also going to look at uh, different areas and components of city government that can be added in under that laser fish system that's going to continue to give us savings from the standpoint of hours that uh, current city employees would have to work interdepartmentally uh, that can be eliminated. We had a public hearing this evening. We were working as a conduit for the Northland Counseling, a 501c3. I sit on the Northland Counseling Board. Uh, 
as well. And the the beauty of it is Northland is out there is expanding services in the Grand Rapids area. They'd had some bonds that they'd paid off that they were had done some work over the last couple of years, and they've got some expansion of some of their facilities in Grand Rapids. So, as the conduit, what it allows us to do is it allows some bonding to go out. Northland can get the funding through the city at a lower tax rate and it's beneficial to them. There is no financial obligation on the city side so it's relatively neutral yet uh, for doing that the city gets one percent fee or an eighth of a cent over an eight year period of the uh, bond uh, the duration of the uh, bonds that are out there. So it's one of the service we've done it for other organizations in the community as well. It's one of the things that you look at in the area of cooperation and collaboration to make the city work in many different areas. So with that, we will see everyone on the 24th. We will be finishing up and starting to wrap up the year. Um, we did introduce the two new council members, Bill Ziggy and John Toivonen, that will be starting with the council as of January at our first meeting in January. But until that time, we still have the services of Barb Sanderson and Joe Chandler on the council for the next three meetings at least. And uh, I would expect that in two weeks on the 24th, we will probably have a full council of five, not uh, three that you saw here this evening. So everyone have a a good evening and uh, just a reminder the streets are kind of slick and slippery out there we got some snow and some bad weather coming uh, get into that winter driving mode early and use some caution take a few minutes to start a little early to wherever your destination is everyone have a good evening thanks